I lead the corporate commercial practice in the Ontario Health Industry Group at Miller Thompson. In that capacity, I act as corporate counsel to health and social service organizations of all sizes on a variety of matters, from corporate governance to mergers and acquisitions, procurement, infrastructure development, research and innovation, government funding, and the like. Healthcare is something that really impacts us all. It's regardless of age, gender, ethnicity, or orientation. And the ability to practice in an area where on a day-to-day -day basis, I get to contribute substantively to major initiatives across the healthcare continuum is really a very fulfilling practice for me. My mentor is Joshua Liswood. Uh, he is the founding partner of the health industry practice at Miller Thompson. And he's taught me a very valuable lesson about client service. And by client service, I don't mean being available to respond to clients as and when they need you to. Frankly, that should be a given for all of us in the service industry. But he's taught me that client service is about really partnering with your clients in their business and being able to deliver legal advice in a way that enables and contributes to their success. Really understanding what is their mission, vision, and values. What are their current political pressures, their strengths, their weaknesses, and being able to take your technical legal advice and deliver legal solutions that account for all of these aspects of the business. This is what enables you to go from being simply a service provider to having your clients recognize you as a trusted advisor. In the past, I've had a very unique opportunity to sit on an international committee together with appointed members from Canada, the United States, and the United Kingdom that is dedicated to the advancement of healthcare in the developing world, specifically in forging strategic relationships with hospitals in Afghanistan. It uh, is really very fulfilling to be able to see your input, your experience, your expertise translate itself into initiatives that are occurring and being implemented halfway across the globe. But perhaps, you know, mo the most meaningful pro bono uh, activity that I've had uh, is the, uh, my contribution that I've been able to make to the, the social work community. I've written a text called Essential Law for Social Work Practice in Canada, together with a co-author, Dr. Cheryl Reguerre, who's the former dean of the Faculty of Social Work at the University of Toronto and the university's current vice president and provost. Collaboration is really the cornerstone of my practice. I've acted as lead counsel on several major hospital mergers across Ontario and as well as independent counsel to hospital boards of directors in their pursuit of alternate financing, procurement, infrastructure projects. These transactions by their nature require significant transaction teams. And as lead counsel, I've been the quarterback of those transaction teams, pulling together the experience and expertise of my legal colleagues across the firm in a variety of disciplines. My role is to take their input and their perspectives and to synthesize that into integrated solutions for the client. The healthcare industry is one that is constantly changing and evolving. And an industry-focused practice demands that you are continually educating yourself on the changing laws, the changing landscape, policies, and politics. My commitment to being industry current and my appreciation of the nuances of the healthcare industry is what enables me to add value to my clients by not only providing strategic advice, but also being able to provide thought leadership on proactive and innovative measures that they can take to advance their success and their sustainability in a sector that is increasingly demanding efficiency, transparency, and accountability.